I think I need a more convenient way of storing these cells. I wonder what I could use. Maybe some free space. I got a piece of wood. You need to be about a metre long, I reckon. Yeah, I'll make it 1100. All right, Abby's in. Isn't it ironic? I've only got one battery. But that's got to work, right? Done. When you know it, go to use it. And the battery's flat. Apparently, we've got to use this. Get 1100 millimeters out of that, then we've got to put that on there so it's square. Then we've got to draw a line with that, and then we've got to cut it. Maths. 650 millimeters times. All right, thanks to technology, about 325 will do. Cut that in half with the end bits. We need evenly spaced holes. What's 100 millimeters divided by four? Sorry, I didn't get that. Could you restate the question? Here's what I found. Okay. What's one meter divided by four? Sorry, I didn't get that. Could you restate the question? Sorry, work out this maths problem. What is one meter divided by four? Here's what I found on the web. Suri, open calculator. Thing installed. Drill, battery. Close enough. Well tubers, there you go. We got me a little rack up, it seems to work quite well. It's not all that flash, but it's only gonna work and that's gonna be perfect and it's gonna get my cells out of the way. Got my little station down there I done. Um, I was thinking I might cut it in half and maybe put good cells on one side, bad cells on the other, or maybe go two stories, I don't know yet. Um, but I'm part way through processing these cells. Obviously I've got a couple of hundred of almost the same cells. And I've noticed it looks like some sort of deception has gone on somewhere in a manufacturing company somewhere at some stage. Uh, now all these uh, batteries come from a school I believe and they are for all intents and purposes minus the little sticker identical batteries they've got the same numbers they've got the same serials they've got all the same markings even down this end we can see AS10D3E and the bottom says 5E. Can we focus? It says 6,000 milliamp hours. I'll take a photo. 6,000 milliamp hours and 66 watt hours. And this one says 6,000 milliamp hours and 66 watt hours. Now, I can tell you for sure that this one contains pink cells. 
those type. And this one contains green cells. Now, the green cells are NCR 18650A, and then they've got an MH2, what was it? MH12210. So, my research says they're like 3,100 milliamp hour cells, and those are 2,000 milliamp hour cells with exactly the same milliamp hours written on the packs. You don't know if it's deceptive or not, but you don't know what people have been told. They could have easily been sold these cells in replacement for the good ones. Who knows? But they look awfully similar. Um, they've got the same milliamp hour rating, except that this one is, what, 50% better capacity or more, um, and probably better quality cells. So that's just one thing I saw while I was starting to process these. Um, another thing that we're at, we are rocking with Raspberry Pi. I've only just got the image flashed across. Um, so my Pi is sitting there because I've got mess everywhere. Keyboard and mouse is all hooked up. Um, so I've got the Pi on there. Now if anybody's been watching Daniel's channel, uh, DIY Tech and Repairs, uh, he has done a whole heap of work with the Pi and how to get it all running with your PIP and with the Batrium software. So head on over his channel, check it out. I'm not going to tell you too much here because it's really worth going to have a look at all the hard work he's put in. I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, what else are we doing? We need to tell everybody about Pack 5. Pack 5 is here. Completely indistinguishable once it was balance charged at the top. Um, now, I haven't had a chance to really load test this yet, and I've had lots of people ask me, when, 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 when are you going to be actually uh, uploading the footage to the new one? Well, I haven't done anything with it yet. I don't know whether it's a good or bad cell. I'm still working on that. I am actively load testing it and playing with it and making sure it gets used in an everyday situation like all the other cells that I've got. Um, now, tomorrow morning, with all hope, Monday morning, we get a nice, lovely car here to charge. Um, now, if all things go well, I will be able to charge the car with my power wall. Things aren't in stone. It's in plasticine at the moment. We're still working on it because I've got to make sure that I'm not going to hurt his car anyway. You know how that is. <laughs> so, working on that. So, hopefully, I'm going to be able to run a 2,400 watt load for as long as humanly possible. And we're going to be able to test the hell out of that Pack 5. I guarantee you. It's either going to work or it's going to fail. Now, I have had some hot cells. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get um, the thermal image of it, but I've had one hot cell. Seven from the bottom, uh, four back. When I went out there with the, this, the infrared temperature sensor, and then I went out with a thermal camera, and it, it like I went out like an hour later after I had jobs and stuff to do, and it was warm when I went out there first. It wasn't hot, and then I went out there again, and it's gone dead cold. So I haven't actually pulled that pack yet out, um, to see if it's blowing any fuses or not, but it seems to be holding up all right, and I'm pretty uh, Embarrassed I'm embarrassed. I thought that cell would fall over within a day Not catch fire not anything else just drop under load But maybe I need to throw a better load at it. and That's what I plan to do So when I actually charge this Tesla tomorrow, I'm going to use that as an opportunity to do a screen capture until the battery's flat and we're going to really test it and see how that goes and of course those um those results will be uploaded in a few days or a week or however long it takes to complete that test anyway tubers thank you very much for tuning in thanks for watching me play with woodwork it was fun and i'll see you on the next one cheers